So let's get started and launch our the first EC2 instance. So for that, you have to just come onto your AWS dashboard over here. And here in the search tab, you can just search for the EC2. Okay. And I'm just going to open in the new tab. And one thing you have to remember, so we have to use specific region. So in our case, uh, I am just using the Northern California. Or either you can use the Mumbai one or you can use the Northern Virginia. So it's sort of depend on you, but stay with the only one region. So that is very important throughout the deployment processes. Okay. So we have to stick on the one single region. So I hope you have clear idea on this one. So let's go again on to EC2. Okay. So as you can see that we have this dashboard over here and we have the instance running is zero, elastic IP is zero, and all the things are zero. So if you scroll down a little bit, so as you can see that we have this option launch instance, then we have this orange button over here. Okay. So you have to just click on this button launch instance. And here, as you can see that we have this option like names and tags. So we have to give the name for the server. Okay. So or instance as well. So just, I'm just giving the name for the server is man app server. Okay. Then if you scroll down a little bit, so you get this option like application and OS images or AMIs. Okay. So if you're launching an instance, so we need the OS over here. It can be Ubuntu, it can be Amazon Linux or it can be Debian. Right now I'm just going to use the Ubuntu over here. So as you can see that we have this option called Ubuntu. So I'm just going to choose this Ubuntu option over here and from the free tier. So I'm just going to use the free tier version and we have these two images over here. Okay. And 22.04 and 20.04. So I'm just going to use 20.04. Okay. So once you choose the AMI, so later on, as you can see that we have this option called architecture and here we have these two, two options over here. So first is x86 and second is ARM. And one thing I have to show before the launching the instance. So you have to just go on the Docker hub and in the page of Docker image. Okay. So this is the Docker image, Docker in Docker. And here I'm just going to search for architecture. So I'm just going to copy this one. And I'm just going to paste over here. So as you can see that we have this supported architecture. So AMD 64, ARM 64 V8 and Windows AMD 64. So what does is mean? So as you know that we have built the 2 to 1 application using the Docker image. So in our case, if you open this page, okay. So this Docker image is supports only specific architecture. So if you launch the instance using this architecture x86, so it's not going to run this image because it's only support this architecture like ARM64 and this is the supporting architecture. So in that case, we are going to choose the ARM architecture over here. So that is very important. So before deploying the any image, so you have to check the which architecture is supported for that image. So then you can able to deploy that image. So I hope you have a clear idea on this one. So once you choose the architecture, then we are going to scroll down a little bit. And as you can see that uh, in the instance type, we have this instance over here. Okay, so this is the instance and that is available in the free tier. Okay, as you can see that is mentioned over here, free tier eligible. But if we choose this architecture ARM based, so, so as you can see that if we choose the ARM architecture, so in that case, you, so we cannot deploy the images on the free tier instance. So right now for the ARM based architecture, we have these options and we have to choose the instance from this option over here. And, and I'm just choosing this one T4. Okay, so I'm just going to choose this one and then you have to just scroll down. And here, as you can see that we have this option like key pair. Okay. So using the key pair, you can able to do SSH and we can able to connect with the instance. Okay. So as you can see that I have the already one key pair over here, but right now I'm just going to create another one. So I'm just click on this button, create new, and we have to give the name for the key pair. So I'm just giving my mon key. Okay. Then you have those two options. So I'm just going to choose the RSM. And again, you have these two options over here like .pim and .ppk. And one thing you have to remember, so if you are using putty on the windows, then you have to use .ppk file, okay? But if you are using the Mac OS or Ubuntu, then you have to use the .pim file over here. So I'm just going to use .pim and I'm just click on this button, okay? And it's going to download my key pair into my system, okay? Now, once you're done with the key pair, so then you have to just scroll down. So in the network setting, you have this two option over here, like create a security group and select existing security group. So by default, Amazon give the security group. So security group is instance level firewall. So it's going to allow uh, the incoming and outgoing traffic and is also known as inbound and outbound rules. Okay. So I'm just going to select this uh, option, like select existing security group. And from this drop down menu, I am just going to select the default one. Okay. So if you scroll down, then we have this option over here, like configure storage. 
and we have this option like 8 GB so I'm just going to leave all the things as it is and here we have this add on details tab over here but we are not going to do anything over here so I'm just close this tab over here and then we have this option over here like number of instance so we are going to launch only one instance over here then I'm just going to click on this button okay so launch instance so it's going to launch the instance for us okay so as you can see that our instance is successfully initiated so just click on this button instance okay and so as you can see that our instance is successfully running and in the next video we are going to connect this instance and we are going to install the docker on the EC2 instance